Hello friends and welcome to this intermediate Pilates wall workout. I'm going to guide you through a comprehensive routine designed to activate your deep core muscles, fire up your glutes and invigorate your spine. We're gonna focus also on lateral and posterior movements to strengthen your body from all angles, ultimately concluding with a soothing stretch to leave you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Let's begin! Let's start in a laying position on the mat. Support yourself with your hands and then slowly roll your tailbone down. Come on your mat and bring your knees close to your chest. Let's circle on the sacrum. Gentle circles, deep inhalations through the nose. Maybe exhaling for the mouth here in the beginning. Very nice. Now from here, grab behind your knees and extend your legs up to the ceiling. Flex your feet and point them. Flex and point. Keep your knees stretched. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Now make nice big circles with your feet. Other direction. Very good. Now from here, bring your feet down on the floor come a little bit closer to your wall so you can now place your feet straight on the wall and you have a nice 90 degree angle in your knees and again roll the shoulder blades back and down and pull them down towards the pelvis just concentrate on your neutral spine you can bring your hands on your lower ribs deep inhalation to the sides of your ribcage fully exhalation and feel that your whole spine is sinking nicely on your mat. Feel each vertebra of your spine now on the floor. Again, inhale to the sides of your rib cage and exhale. Just one last time this way. Exhale fully. Now, breathe deeply, same way, and now start pressing your feet slightly, slightly, slightly more into the wall and direct your tailbone a little bit more towards the wall. So you feel that your lower spine is sinking a little bit more to the mat. Pull your lower ribs in and a uh, very important part, activate your pelvic floor. So pull those muscles up to the center of your belly and hold them nice and tight. Still breathing so it's not overly uh, over activation not too intense so really find this nice balance and now bring your hands down to the floor and from here scoop your tailbone down and roll all the way up just not too far away first here on your shoulders and then exhaling roll down inhale on the floor exhale roll up inhale here exhale down feel each vertebra at a time uh, coming away from the mat exhale down two more times this way and last one very slowly up deep inhalation exhale roll down Keep this neutral position, so all the spine on the floor. Bring your hands behind your head and at least your fingers. Open your elbows slightly apart so you can see, still see them on the sides. And then exhale, come all the way up in your chest lift. Push with your feet into the floor and inhale, release. So really um, use this push for the soles of your feet to activate your core a little bit more deep inhalation exhale up 
inhale release make sure your chin is not touching your chest and release last two times and try to really curve yourself up towards the thighs and release from here now bring your arms up exhaling we're coming up again press with your feet into the wall pull your sit bones slightly more together and release bring your arms up exhale up inhale down and exhale stay here and start with your hundreds deep inhalation exhale fully inhale and exhale pull your lower belly in a little bit faster last time inhale and exhale release bring your knees again close to your chest circle very nice from here bring your feet again onto the floor and now extend your right leg to the 45 degree angle to the wall point your foot and again feel your whole spine on the floor pull your both hips down deep inhalation open your elbows to the sides exhale come up bring your leg up point and touch the wall and lower inhale here exhale up leg towards you point and tap release three more release two and release last one and release beautiful other side right foot on the floor left leg extended deep inhalation whole spine on the floor exhale come up into your chest lift tap release exhale up tap release two more last one and release bring your feet down release the back of your head down to the floor now from here extend your right leg up again you can bring your arms down now palms facing the floor again shoulder blades together and push with your left foot left sole of your foot into the floor push this left hip down now flex this right leg and you're going to open your leg to the side just 45 degree angle and bring it back now arms up and your left arm is coming to the side right leg to the right left arm to the left side and here's important to really keep the weight of your body here on the, the left um, thigh left hip and in the center axis so you're not falling to the right side let's do four more really activate your pelvic floor doing this exercise pull everything to your center axis push with your left foot nicely into the wall feel your good working too and last one very good bring the right foot down left leg extended flex the foot and we're opening the leg and the right arm to the side feel if you notice a change a difference between both sides pull your sit bones together as you do this and last three two again push through the right heel down into the wall and last one very nice again left foot down to the floor arms down and a little bit wider from the torso bring your right leg up and point your foot now you're gonna rotate your leg outward 
keeping this nice outward rotation, knees gazing to the side. And from here, we're going into the circles. Push with your left heel down into the wall so you have a nice stable position. Everything pulled to the center axis. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Change the direction, 10 circles. Keep your both hips in one line. And seven, six, five, four. Keep this nice outward rotation, two, and one. Beautiful. And again, foot down on the wall, left leg up, point your foot, rotate your leg outward. And we're going to the center and outward. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. When you're like up, change the direction. Ten, nine, knee is super stretched. And five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bring your foot down and again, 90 degree angle here in our legs. Bring your right, uh, uh, right ankle joint on your left knee and push your both hips down. Push your left foot into the wall, arms down, shoulder blades together. Exhale, start slowly rolling up all the way on this side. Roll up, hold, deep inhalation, and exhale, roll down the same way. Inhale deeply, exhale, we're rolling up. Now, hold this position here. Gaze towards your both hip joints and pull them in one line so they are squared now. Go slightly down and push yourself up. Down and up. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Push this hip up and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release vertebra per vertebra down. Bring this right foot down on the wall and let's go to the other side your left ankle joint on your right knee. Find your neutral position, push your both hips up. Again, pelvic squeeze. Let's roll up. Deep inhalation. Exhale down. Controlled way. Inhale. Exhale up. Find this nice height. Gaze towards your hips. Hold them in one line but try not to fall on your left side, on your left shoulder. So let's go down and up. And five, four, three, two, and one. Push it up the highest possible uh, position. And let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, release all the way down. Very good. Now again, your both feet down on the floor, 90 degree angle in your knees. Bring your arms up, shoulder blades back and down, deep inhalation. Now exhale, roll up and extend your right leg up. Inhale, hands behind your head and exhale, you're rolling up and down. So your bl shoulder blades are down on the mat and we're coming just a little bit up with the hip and down and up, down, up and down. Other, other side, right foot down on the mat, left leg extended, roll up and down. You're going to notice difference in both sides. 
So where is it a little bit difficult to uh, hold the hips in, in the same line? So this is my weak side. Last two. And last one. Slowly roll down. Very good. Bring your both feet down on the, on the mat. Deep inhalation. And now exhale again. Right leg up. Left leg extended to the wall. Bring your arms down. So both legs extended. The right leg is gazing up to the ceiling. Your left foot is on the mat, on the wall. From here, roll up. And down. So you can push the heel down of your left foot so you have uh, you don't slide with the foot on the wall and again up and down up and down last two and one stay here push your hips up little circles or with your right leg now knee is gazing towards you no outward rotation change the direction five four three two and one beautiful now bring your both feet on the wall flex the feet and slowly roll down very good now keep your right foot on the mat on the wall left leg up exhaling roll up vertebra per vertebra push with this right foot into the wall and extend yourself really push your hip up the highest position and exhale down inhale here sacrum on the floor exhale roll up inhale exhale down inhale exhale up and last one let's go up find the highest position possible and let's go with our circles and five four three two and one other direction five four three push this left hip up don't let it fall two and one very good both feet down heels on them on the wall and slowly rolling down all the way beautiful bring your knees close to your chest little circles deep inhalations here into your belly and now again find this position on with your feet on the wall and we're going to bring now the heels together and we're going to rotate uh, the feet outward come on your uh, toes so heels together you're on your toes this frog position arms down now exhaling come up all the way with your pelvis push your hips up stay here little bounces five four three two and one now close your knees and open close and open close open heels coming together as you open last four three two and one beautiful slowly roll down all the way bring your right leg up flex your foot and pull your leg a little bit closer push your sacrum down and change other side little stretch here flex your foot push through the heel up to the ceiling very good now from here bend your knees roll up all the way okay let's go on the side so first i'm laying on my left side 
with the face towards you and my both legs extended to the wall both legs together now I'm going to lay on this left arm bring your head down and really find the nice line here in your whole body straighten your both legs to the wall and you feel very naturally you have a little space here which is very important in this position so this neutral position on the side you're pushing with your upper leg into the wall so all the time keeping this extension here in your hip have all the time this space under your left waist hand down to the uh, to the mat and now bring your toes down to the floor open your knee push this hip down keep the space and let's rotate inward and out in and out in and out and five four three gaze forward two and last one beautiful now from here toes touching the other knee from here push this hip down extend your leg flex your foot and bring your leg down again slide with your toes till the knee from here extend flex bring your legs down slide extend flex heel down slide extend flex heel down just two more times you can bring your head here just in front of your chest to have a little stability last one and very nice again push your both feet down to the floor uh, to the wall and rotate this left arm down we're coming up with the upper body you're pushing a little bit here but more you're using this muscles to come up and go down and up and down and up and down push with your legs down into your wall and last two and last one come up very good now stay here bring your left elbow down to the floor and push your shoulder blade down bring your right leg a little bit higher so your right foot is staying in line with the left but a little bit higher grab your waist or your hip and from here we're pushing the pelvis up and down and up and down push up press through the soles of your feet into the wall this shoulder down last two last one stay here extend your arm gaze up exhale rotate your spine down gaze down and open rotate and extend just two more very nice extend this arm up and release beautiful let's sit down in the mermaid position extend your chest Take a deep inhalation, bring your arms up. And now exhaling, lean towards your right side. Extend this left arm, gaze up. Last deep inhalation here. And exhale, release. Let's turn to the other side. Find a nice laying position here on your mat. Extend your right arm and push your both feet down. So your left foot is now laying just on the right. And just have a little sensation here. So you feel your neutral position laying here on your mat. Bring your right, your left hand just in front of your chest. And the toes touching the floor. Keep this space under your right waist 
outward rotation in your knee and close open and close open and close and last four and three and two last one now touch with your uh, with your toes down the right knee push this hip down grab your hip joint so it doesn't come up and from here extend this leg flex your foot bring your heel down to the floor or to the other foot point slide with your toes extend flex foot down three more times this way keep this waist space on your right side last time and release beautiful and from here we're coming up um no just one one last exercise here keep your feet on top of each other bring your right palm down and press yourself up come up with your spine with your torso and release down try not to um, use your arms and your hands so much to pull yourself up but use more your oblique and lateral muscles here on the left side the last two and last one release come on your lower arm on the right side push this right shoulder down and bring your left foot a little bit more away both hips your left hip is just above the right push the shoulder down and come all the way away from the mat release down almost coming down to the floor but don't let yourself sink and lose your position just two last one stay here extend this arm up push the hip up and now exhale rotate down gaze down inhale open exhale rotate hip is staying at the same place and last two and last one extend this arm up come all the way down on your hip and let's go to the mermaid exercise i'm turning towards you so your right shin bone is just in front of you left foot back push this hip down extend your right arm inhale exhale lean to the side open your chest very good and from here come back in a sitting position so we're going to use our wall also as a little um yeah a start point in the knee stand you can fold your mat twice if you feel if you have sensitive knees i will fold it and bring your mat towards the wall so come very close to the wall and push this hip flexors free. So really engage your buttocks, engage your thighs. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Now keep this nice position, straight, parallel to the wall, arms down. And from here, knees are standing just under the hips. You're coming slightly back, just a little bit gazing up just 45 degree angle and come back inhale here exhale come back you're gazing coming up and to this starting position engage your buttocks and let's go back and to this to the center just two more times last one keep this nice line from the knees to the till the crown and come back and now we're going to do a little variation again open your hip joints 
you're rotating to the left side so the hip is rotating a little bit also you're going back and you're grabbing your heel on the left side from here open your chest gaze up extend this right arm exhale come all the way to the center rotate to the left side <clears throat> to the right go back grab your heel open your chest open your left arm come all the way to the center let's do two more times each side push the hip, this hips free turn go to the left open exhale center exhale to the right go back and down open inhale and last time each side all the time controlling your neutral position deep inhalation exhale center and last time and release beautiful turn away from the wall unfold your mat and let's turn away from the wall so come a little bit more forward we don't need a, the wall now but we're going to concentrate on our back muscles you're going to bring your knees slightly back and cross your feet roll the shoulder blades back and down protract uh, tilt your pelvis slightly back hold this nice activation in your core and we're going down bending the elbows back push yourself up inhale exhale come down inhale up exhale down just two more times and two last one push yourself up and our same way slowly come down in the laying position on your mat extend your feet open your feet slightly to the sides just a little bit your hands are under your shoulders you're gazing down roll the shoulder blades back and down and come all the way up with the next inhalation with your chest exhale extend yourself forward gaze down inhale all the way up so from the active spine muscles so we're activating the upper spine just this uh, space between the shoulder blades exhale down inhale up last time next time we stay here open your chest bring your hands away from the mat and bring your elbows towards your ribs inhale one more time come a little bit higher exhale release down gaze down and extend your arms forward again elbows to the ribs open inhale exhale release down and extend your arms inhale up exhale down and three two and last one come a little bit higher and release bring your hands down and now from here push yourself back on your heels little pose release your arms down and release your forehead on the floor take some nice deep inhalations here deep inhalation and exhaling roll all the way up into sitting position on your mat roll the shoulder blades back and down okay let's go back in the laying position on the belly same position your feet slightly open to the sides this time bring your arms forward bring your hands down to the floor roll the shoulder blades back and down now push with your arms with your hands down into the floor and come a little bit away from with your chest 
away from the floor. Keep this nice position and bring your legs away from the floor. Keep it, arms away, and let's start swimming. Deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Keep your uh, core, keep your center stable and still. Just arms and uh, legs working. Just four. Three, two, and one. Release your hands under your shoulders. Again, press yourself back in this little child pose. And release your forehead down. Release your shoulders down. Take a deep inhalation, exhaling, roll all the way up into your sitting position, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Beautiful. Let's go in our quadruped position here. Protract your shoulder blades. Let's stretch a little bit. Nice neutral spine. Bring your right arm up, extend your chest, gaze up, and now exhaling, twist to the other side and bring your right shoulder down. Extend your left arm and press yourself with the hand down into the floor and twist to the left. Push this left hip down. Last two deep inhalations here. And for the next exhalation, bring your left palm down and come all the way up into your quadruped. Let's go to the other side. Push your right hand down, extend your left arm up, twist to the left, and then exhaling, twist to your right side, your left shoulder down and come into this nice twist. Last deep inhalation. Exhale fully, bring your right hand down, come all the way into quadruped position. Find your neutral spine, press your palms down and protract your shoulder blades. Let's just, just round the spine, scooping the tailbone down towards the knees, gazing slightly to the thighs, feeling this nice extension in the whole spine. And again, coming back into neutral. Round your spine and release. Last two. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, last one. C curve in your spine, gaze down and inhale, neutral position. Sit down on your heels. We're done with this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's take just three deep inhalations together. Deep inhalation, arms to the sides, palms up, exhale, release. Two more. Inhale, deeply extend your chest, exhale, release. Inhale, last one. Exhale, release your arms down. I hope you enjoyed this practice using the wall. Comment below under this video, give me some feedback and see you soon on my channel.